Why did you decide for this transaction selling a stake in your fintech unit? Yeah, thanks for having us on the show. I mean, I, I think there are two aspects to the strategic partnership that uh, we're looking to build uh, with uh, MasterCard. The first is we have uh, signed definitive agreements on a commercial uh, you know, set of agreements uh, to accelerate uh, payments and remittances across Africa. So we are working with them in terms of issuance, acceptance and remittance uh, on a multi-year basis across many of the markets that we operate. We're operating uh, in 16 markets uh, offering financial services solutions. So that's, the, uh, you know, those uh, agreements have been signed. The other is we announced a, an MOU for a transaction uh, where they yeah. would be uh, to take a minority stake. And, uh, you know, the com uh, closing conditions of those are still outstanding, but we valued the business, uh, you know, working with them at $5.2 billion. Yeah, uh, Mr. Pepita, first of all, how much of the business are you actually willing to sell? And does the agreement come with a capital injection? Yeah, look, I mean, we've said that we are open to selling uh, up to a maximum of 30 percent uh, of the fintech business. Uh, you know, we're not anticipating only one potential strategic partner will be within that 30 percent. So I think you need to read that there might be, you know, uh, you know, three, maybe even four strategic partners within that. So we haven't disclosed uh, the absolute amount uh, that, uh, you know, MasterCard uh, have uh, been discussing with us but you know once we've uh, uh, closed uh, concluded the, the, the transaction uh, that, that will all be made public so but give me a sense of how, how much is there a minimum that you want to sell or a maximum that you don't want to sell do, do you have that an idea of that yeah look i mean i know that uh, you, you want some more precision i mean all we've simply said is up to 30 percent but uh, you know obviously a strategic stake you know will be something uh, that you know you one wouldn't see you know you know you know much smaller than you know um, you know four or five percent. I think that's uh, the minimum we'd like to at, uh, for any strategic partner coming in. But you know the very specific terms around that transaction will only be communicated when at closing. Um, give me a sense of why you know the, the timing of this is so important. So why bring a partner now? Yeah, for us, you know, we're trying to grow uh, what we call advanced services. So this is basically uh, bank tech products, uh, payments and e-commerce, as well as uh, remittance. We built a business now with 60 million subscribers across Africa, making us, as a single entity, the largest uh, mobile money business or fintech unit on the African continent. Uh, and we've been providing very basic services, cash in, cash out uh, type services. But as more and more of the consumers on the African continent are getting uh, more sophisticated in their financial services needs, we are moving into these areas of remittance, payments, and bank tech. And uh, you know, we're looking at partnerships to help us accelerate, and the MasterCard partnerships on the commercial side, uh, you know, for remittance yeah. and payments is right there. Is that why Africa seems like such fertile ground for a lot of fintechs? It seems like a lot of the innovation is coming from, from that continent right now. No, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, Africa is, you know, close on to, you know, 1.4 billion people. Uh, the bulk of the uh, you know, people on the African continent have never experienced traditional banking services. And with mobile money and fintech services, you're able to leapfrog uh, people from, uh, you know, you know, um, from um, not having any financial services to using the phone to provide a lot of uh, financial services, um, you know, to, uh, you know, everyday Africans out there in countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Uganda, Rwanda. These are the markets that we operate in. So, uh, you know, mobile money has grown, uh, you know, fastest on the African continent across, you know, all emerging markets. So the continent is ripe for growth for fintech services it, the economy is not easy uh, in South Africa and other parts of course of Africa because of inflation because of some of the debt and some of the, the the world concerns that we have on the global economy how does it feel being the chief executive of MTN in this environment yeah it's quite challenging uh, you know the operating conditions you know geopolitically uh, regulatory um, and economically have been quite challenging uh, you know several of the markets we're operating 
in, you know, I have gone to the IMF for, uh, you know, uh, structural support programs. Um, and so, you know, foreign currency has been quite challenging the last six months to be able to secure that in many of the operations, uh, in the countries that we operate in. Um, but, you know, we're providing a service that is much needed by consumers and businesses, which is connectivity. Uh, and we've seen that continue to grow very strongly in, uh, in pretty much all our markets. And then also on, you know, uh, on the fintech side, you know, transaction volumes, they have grown like 37%. Transaction value on our fintech platform has grown by 67%. Uh, so these are kind of structural demands for services that we are able to offer. Uh, but the operating context and environment has been challenging. Um, but it's been challenging, you know, uh, you know to operate, uh, um, you know, in this polycrisis world, uh, pretty much for every business.